So the next thing that we're going to work on is uh, working on uh, the knee brace that goes up right up here <clears throat> for the, the person in the front seat or the front angler. Um, I've been working on this um, form back here. Um, <clears throat> I used, uh, let's see, uh, a drawing bowl over here and a tape measure to get the height that I wanted for the knee brace. And then I took the drawing bowl and drew the curve that I needed um, for the for the form. And then I have some um, maple, thin maple strips right here that I'll laminate and uh, put on the form and then let dry and then uh, do a little bit of uh, milling. So um, we'll pick this up after um, we get uh, the form or after the, the piece gets uh, all dry. So it'll probably be tomorrow. So you know what the saying is, you can never have enough clamps. And that's true. That was a whole entire bucket's worth just for this one uh, glue up. So everything I had for that, for this type of clamp of F clamp. So um, <laughs> A lot of clamps. So the glue up turned out pretty good. I ended up uh, running out of glue um, and I'm just using the um, tight bond uh, three glue waterproof um, glue. So I'll have to go get some tomorrow and then finish the lamination um, tomorrow on the, the second half of it. So um, yeah, so it turned out uh, pretty good. Just a lot of clamps and I'm thankful that I had all of them. So should turn out uh, very nice. So we'll pick this up in the morning. So we got some more uh, progress on the boat. Um, here are the, the benches. Um, I have them, I got them all sanded up yesterday and routed o rounded over all the sharp uh, corners. So that turned out good. Um, I also went and any of the unfinished wood in the boat, so the side storage areas on both sides, um, then this transom area, um, I ended up putting a coat of uh, epoxy down um, to just uh, seal up everything um, so water isn't absorbed into it. So all the plywood in the boat is finished. Now there's a coat of finish on it. Um, as for the gunwale in wall, um, and Orlocks, as of right now, I am going to leave them unfinished. Um, I, as of right now, I don't want to put epoxy on them um, because uh, if I want to take them off, uh, the epoxy will make that hard to do. Um, and I don't know if I necessarily want to do uh, a spar urethane like I did for the storage areas. Um, because I don't know with how much flex is in the wood right now, if it will, um, when, if I have to take them off, if it will crack, um, just with when all the tension is released. And I don't know if I want to use, some um, some type of oil, like a tongue oil or a teak oil, or, you know, there's lots of different types of oils out there, but I don't know if I want to use one of them, um, just cause of the, kind of some of the filminess or the weird uh, feel that you get from it. So, um, yeah, so I'm not really sure. So for right now, I'm just going to leave it the, the way it is. Um, as with a lot of this boat, um, I'm just going to test it out and use it uh, for a bit before I actually uh, finish it all up. Um, everything, like I said, is water... Um, uh, has finished on it so water won't penetrate into it um but nothing is set in stone um i'm hoping to to put some type of finish on the inside of the boat um i don't know if it'll be the whole thing or the or just the floor or what but just i want to use it see how i like it um i don't want to put a finish on it because if i want to change something or add something well then i need to sand down through some type of finish to get to uh, the fiberglass and um, the, the uh, epoxy coat to make the the bond. So just gonna kind of leave it as it is. Like I said, um, didn't, just getting very close to finishing it up. So I took the clamps off the, the knee brace um, part for the front of the boat. 
So we'll grab this and then you can get an idea of what it will look like. So it will look like that. Um, I'll have, I have some eight quarter um, maple that I'll be using to make some uh, knee braces um, to support um, that you can lean up against um, to be the support. So getting uh, very, very close to finishing uh, the boat, I would say a couple more solid days worth of work and we'll all be good to go. So we'll uh, start working on this uh, front knee brace area and then just kind of um, putting together some loose ends. So we'll pick it up. So I've been working on the anchor system here. I got the um, anchor brake mounted up right there. Um, working on the guide uh, from the, uh, the stop to um, the pulley arm. Um, I got a piece of uh, pipe right here that will be the guide um, for the PVC that I'll eventually uh, fill it and um, uh, fiberglass to the floor. But just working on the back arm area, I noticed that there is a lot of flex in this piece right here. That is, um, it is half inch right there, um, which I thought would be enough, but um, I think it would. But I think it eventually maybe fail. So what I did is I took a piece of maple. Where is it? Right here. To go across like that to just stiffen up uh, that area. Um, I think that will give a lot of strength to that area um, and help really reduce some of that uh, flex that is in that uh, in the transom right now. So I'll just use some of the five minute five minute epoxy to um, attach it now. So I'm gonna start working on adding the flotation foam. Uh, I got pieces of tape uh, kind of masked out um, and I have a, a location um, that I'm gonna use the whole saw bit. Uh, here are the cup holders right here. Uh, there's no drain in the bottom to let water through um, and I'll seal them up um, when I put them down so water can't um, can't get in. So I taped a large area because I'll end up um, taking some of this um, craft paper or mask or uh, paint masking and kind of make um, a funnel, I guess. I don't, I've never used flotation foam. It's a two part foam that you pour in and it'll expand. So I'm kind of cautious on on how much it's going to expand. Um, so I'm just going to take some precautions and mask things off just so I don't have a mess. So um, we'll pick it up after I do some more work on it. Quick update on uh, the two part flotation foam. So this is uh, the back uh, storage area. Um, I just did the one side first just to see how this stuff even expands and everything. I wasn't, I had no idea and the directions weren't very good on how much, um, you know, it was just hard to figure out how much to, to pour in. So this is 22 ounces right here. And as you can see, it's like almost absolutely perfect. So um, it's been 45 minutes or so and it's, it's rock or it's pretty solid already and it's fully cured, I think already so very happy so have this one uh, this one and this one to do too so just wanted to give you a quick update on how the first one went so we got the curved piece of the knee brace uh put on um all that's left for to be added is the uh, knee brace uh blocks that will go on um each side of it that the the person in the front will lean up against um, as you're going down the river. Um, I don't know how what yet I'm gonna do right here uh, with the stripped uh, line. Um, kind of see two different options. Um, the first one being somehow get some mesh netting or something in there to make it like a, a stripping or like a stripping basket or I could um, put a piece of plywood right here and have the, the line be stripped into there. So not sure 
what one I'm gonna do yet. I think both options are good, um, but they each have their positive and negatives to it. So um, yeah, so we'll think on that. Um, but I got all the foam uh, poured in all the, the storage areas. Um, and then I took the, the same hole saw and cut out some of the foam as you can see here. And then cups, holders will go right there. So we're getting super close to getting things wrapped up. So we'll keep working on uh, this front uh, rower's uh, knee brace area, um, put the blockings on and we'll pick that up when I get that done. Well, the shop is cleared out, so that must mean only one thing. We got it on the trailer. So this is just uh, a trailer that my family um, has or had up at the cabin, and I ended up just building uh, some bunks to um, uh, for the boat to sit on. So. There's still some work to do on there, attaching and a lot of stuff, doing a lot of hardware work and cleaning it out. So we'll get all that stuff done and we'll give you a final look. So here it is. The boat's all completed and uh, ready to go. Gonna be doing um, a little test float in the morning. So just a quick uh, walk through. So I got the blocks um, put on uh, the knee brace. So those are epoxied and then um, screwed from the underside. Give you a look this way. So that'll be it uh, for this, or this will be the last uh, episode or part of the actual build part of the drift boat um, i'll be doing a couple different videos um, one i'll be doing a, a walk through of the the boat i'm um, just kind of showing everything about the boat and different um the different products that i use and the different companies that i used and some of my opinions about them um, and then i'll do a, a video of the things that i would like to and change or improve on um uh for the next boat that i plan on building hopefully sometime soon um and then probably another video just some clips of um the first float tomorrow and then um some fishing um that we'll be doing out of it hopefully in the next couple weeks so um, thank you for wa watching i appreciate all the comments that i received throughout this uh, whole build um, it was a lot of fun interacting with a lot of great people. So, um, until the next video, thanks for watching.